this the House of Gumbo? This is. All right. All right. Uh, can you see me and him at the same time? So yeah, there we go. All right. So in this video, I'm going to show you a way that you can use operant conditioning to teach a dog that's excited when people come to the door to calm itself down. Now, what I'm not doing is engaging with him. I'm not telling him what to do. If I look at him, if you tell him calm down or stop, all of that is validating and rewarding for the dog. So you see he's trying to lunge to get to me, so we're using the leash as a tool to prevent him from reaching me. Uh, now it's harder uh, when he's hiding behind me. There we go. So what I'm waiting for is energy to calm down, which it has. So now I reach to pet him and he gets excited. So I step out of his reach and I turn to the side. You're gonna get a whole lot of repetitions doing this back and forth. When you're in the future, I would have you, you're fine for now, but I would have you facing that way with your butt up against the wall so he doesn't do exactly what he just did. Sorry. That, that's okay. This is exactly why we film these things. <laughs> that's a great teachable moment. So what I would do uh, is arrange a bow. Now you want to give him a little bit more room. There you go. Do you want to give him enough room on the leash so he's got about three or feet, four feet worth of room? And you see his energy has come down. Now there's a difference between calm and calmer. This is calmer. This is not necessarily calm. Now, I'm not using treats or any of those things. Gumbo. <laughs> Again, too excited. When I'm excited, that's when I'm more likely to make mistakes. Same sort of thing for your dog. I've seen it. There we go. So as soon as he gets excited, I pull away. And what we should see is him staying calmer as I reach for him. Whoa, you got a magnificent underbite. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen one that pronounced. <laughs> You're like a bionic underbite dog. Come <laughs> So when you're, oh, well, there we go. Now, you saw he, he laid down on his own. Usually, you don't tell the dog to lay down. Just simply wait for that energy to come down. So now he's calmer, still a little bit excited. Not as excited normally, but more uh, calm, calmer. Now, it's important to understand when a dog jumps up on someone, that's their way of, when they come through a doorway, that's their way of claiming them. So that can confuse the dog in thinking that it is in charge or the person's in their property. Yes, we're going to knock everything over. That's all right, we've got some pennies in there. So you see his energy. Now, it's still, I like to say dogs have energy levels from 0 or 1 to 10. This is maybe like a, I'm guessing about a 4. Gumbo. Gumbo. So now he's, we've reached a certain level of calmness where he's more interested in the sounds outside the door than for me. Let's see if we can change that with the treat. Yeah, I just put that in there like I was putting a penny into a slot machine. <laughs> yes. So you'll get a lot, you'll need to do this a lot of reps. So what I'm suggesting you, and you just follow me for the rest of this. Um, I would arrange to have friends and neighbors, preferably people who live uh, close by, to do this. So when you do it, just tell them, hey, uh, text us when you uh, unlock your door, because you have kind of two doors in a secure area here. So when they unlock the door there, right before they're coming, and then basically just uh, explain this to them. Stand on leash. Some people will actually put down, I think, a painter's tape so you know where to put your leg up against. And so the person never, doesn't ever cross that. And then eventually, this is the energy you get. And so instead of having a dog that jumps up or might, he's not a nipper, but some dogs will nip when they're overexcited, this is the energy you'll get. What you're saying is when you're calm and relaxed, you're very attractive and appealing to humans and they want to pet and engage you. When you get excited, they, re they step out of your reach and they disengage. So it's our way of saying what we like and what we don't like through our actions. But again, the more that we yell at the dog or push the dog or shove the dog or punish the dog or correct, all those things are going to backfire. This is gumbo, and these are some tips and tricks you can use if you have a dog that gets excited and likes to jump up on people who come to the door.